welcome to this new video. In this video, we are going to study the process of recombinant DNA technology. It involves many steps in which we know how to modify an organism to produce the desired product which is useful for us. In this video, we also know that how to cultivate the large amount of modified organisms to produce the large amount of product which is useful for us and if you want to know all these steps you have to watch this video till end now we are going to study the steps involved in process of recombinant dna technology which are first isolation of dna second fragmentation of dna by restriction enzyme third separation and isolation of a desired dna fragment fourth amplification of gene of interest using pcr fifth ligation of the dna fragment into a vector sixth transferring the recombinant dna into the host seventh culturing the host cells in a nutrient medium at a large scale and the eighth extraction of the desired product so these eight steps we are going to study which are the process of recombinant DNA technology. Now the first step is isolation of genetic material. As the name suggests, isolation of genetic material, if we want to get the desired product, we have to isolate the genetic material from a cell which produces that product and that DNA we transfer into a host organism. For the isolation of genetic material, we isolate the DNA from bacterial cells, fungal cells or plant cells. Now, for the isolation, we treat the bacterial cells with the lysozyme enzyme, the fungal cells with the chitinous enzyme, and the plant cells with cellulose enzyme that dissolve the cell wall of the cells so that the cells open up and for the proteins, lipids, sugars, or histone proteins which are found in the cytoplasm and in the nucleus. For this process, we Treat the solution with the protease and other enzymes that dissolves all these extra materials. For the RNA, we treat the solution with RNAs. And the last finally, the DNA is isolated, which is precipitated by the chilled ethanol. So, this process involves the dissolution of cell wall and other constituent of the cell other constitute of the cytoplasm by the different enzymes and the DNA is isolated with the help of chilled ethanol. Now we have isolated the DNA. Now we have to cut the DNA at specific sites to identify the desired DNA. For this purpose we use restriction enzyme and we already have made a video how the restriction enzyme works but that is in Hindi language so you can go and watch that video in i button so restriction enzyme cut the dna in specific sites and the same restriction enzyme we use to cut the vectors too now we have isolated the dna and cut it the dna and now it's time for the separation and isolation of dna fragments by a technique is called gel electrophoresis gel electrophoresis is an important technique with respect to the exams because in exams many questions come from gel electrophoresis so you have to study this concentrately so that you can understand it gel electrophoresis is used to separate the dna fragments and we can identify those dna fragments to get our desired dna in electrophoresis a force of electrostatic is used to separate the dna fragments on the basis of their size that means DNA molecule is negatively charged and it moves to the opposite positive end anode on agrosol gel. Now I am going to make a diagram of agrosol gel and electrophoresis. Here now you can see that there are DNA bands in which the smaller bands are moved further and the larger bands are at the initial stages. This is because 
the largest bands are at the initial and the smallest bands move further due to their small size. Now the DNA bands has been separated but we cannot see them by naked eyes. To see them we use stain which is ethidium bromide. Ethidium bromide when we follow the UV light on the agrocell gel we can see the DNA bands. For the seeing the DNA we use ethidium bromide and UV light. This is an important question with respect to exams. Now we have already separated the DNA fragments. Now we can get the, our desired DNA for desired product. Now it's time to separate the DNA fragments from agrosol gel and this process is known as elution. Elution is also an important point with respect to the exams. Now we have already discussed gel electrophoresis in which ethidium bromide, UV light and elution are important points and fragmentation and in fragmentation restriction enzyme is important point and in isolation of genetic material different types of enzymes are important point. Now in this video that is enough. In next video we are going to study all other five steps of process of recombinant DNA technology. So if you want to know all these steps please stay tuned. We are going to upload this video soon as soon as possible. Upload this video as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and your subscribe will be incredible.